Yes, hi, uh, welcome back to another installment of Oko Divya Tutor. In this video, I'm going to show you guys uh, basically how to set up um, your X server environment. Um, and you'll be, uh, we will do this uh, with um, X Ming. Uh, I basically, when I first, when I first uh, started out, when I needed that, when I needed an X server, actually I tried to go to try, I tried out um, Sigwin and I tried out, um, I might have tried out something else, I, or I might be wrong, um, but I tried out Sigwin and uh, pretty much it didn't work, uh, so I just decided to, hey, you know, uh, X Ming was the next one on my list, and then I tried out X, X, X Ming, and it was fine, so I decided to settle uh, with uh, X Ming. And what I install X Ming is, um, basically you just open up any browser, um, I have this, I have my own browser open, uh, and then, uh, you type in Xming server, and then for me, I prefer to go to source, source forge, uh, that met, uh, and this is the one that I have open here, and pretty much you, once you download it, um, you know, you, basically it's just like any other software, you set it up, I'm actually going to take you guys to set up a uh, faster, uh, just a uh, more minutes. Um, and also, uh, with Xming, what you need to do is you also need to download uh, a file that goes along with it. That's called um, Xming Fonts. So basically, the reason why you need to have Xming Fonts is uh, basically if you have Xming. Uh, and you are uh, basically you're using X Ming for display just dis to display your uh, you know any kind in, um, as a, as an external display window. You need to have a um, you need to have fonts so that you can have the uh, like the complete capabilities for you know X for X Ming. So you don't want to find you don't want to be in a situation where you have a you are you know you're displaying a uh, a certain window and basically you basically the the characters look don't look you know the display is not is not pretty. And you're wondering what happened. Basically, one of the reason one of the reason why you might experience that is because you don't have the Xmin uh, font installed on uh, on your system as well, as well as uh, as well as uh, Xmin X uh, X the Xmin server. So basically, uh, basically, what you what you do is you just download it. And for me, I have it downloaded. And uh, actually, I have it on my. I have it on here. So, what did I do? There you go. Just double click it. Yes. Um, I'm not gonna go through with this one, but yeah, let's try it out. And then you have to make, you have to decide. Um, so with Xmin, you have a, you have a bunch, of, you have a bunch of choices. You can do a, uh, um, the, th the 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 way that it works usually is, um, so you SSH. Uh, use an SSH client um, to get to open to get into your uh, to get into your uh, to get into your server to get into your instance, and you can do that to multiple um, multiple different software. You can do it to Putty. You can do it to uh, Segwin. You can do it. There are a whole bunch of software that are out there, uh, and basically Xmin just gives you the option to do it to using their um, do, do it to Xmin, so you can decide not to do it. Or you can decide to have a uh, you know normal just a regular link, or you can you know hey your this portable that they're gonna use with portable thirty. So pretty much it's very it gives you a variation of options. But uh, for me I'm just I'm not gonna install because I already have party and I'm and I'm pretty satisfied with party. Uh, okay, so can I continue? Yes, I would. Um, okay, and pretty much this is. Basically, when you get to this page, just uh, just uh, basically select what you need to uh, what you need to um, what you really need. So if you don't need an icon for X launch, then don't put an icon for X launch. You can select or deselect them. Uh, for me, I just decided to select all of them. And um, so pretty much that's it. And then so this is a, this is a, 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 when you get to this page, you know you you know you're pretty much done. Uh, so. I'm gonna cancel mine because I've already done it, and so this is what it's gonna look like after you're done. Um, you will have on your um, desktop you're gonna have X Ming and X Launch. 
pretty much they do the, they do they pretty much do the same thing. But I just you know I just I just kind of um, I kind of fell for the you know the idea of just like having everything right in front of you uh, right when you want it. So uh, pretty much this is how you install your X your X server environment. You use Xmain. Uh, and again, you have a number of X server uh, environments that are out there, and do your research and find out which one you really like. Uh, but in terms of Xmain, I'm pretty satisfied with you know with what I've seen so far. Uh, so, and if you go, even if you do set up for Xmain, do install Xmain uh, fonts, and that's gonna help you basically with uh, with basically dis dis with uh, different uh, display environments. So, so you you will basically you will have. Uh, displays that you're satisfied with, you know, the characters look fine. You know, you want you want you want to encounter a problem, in a, you know, a, a situation where this where it, a display a display that you um one of your displays is not rendering what you want or what you're expecting because you know because of of you lacking in you know the number of a uh, um in a particular software. So do want to start as me uh, fonts and um and basically you be you be free you be happy uh, and and um that you that you've done that. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys next time.